welcome dear children standard 6 subject maths chapter number 12 percentage now children let's discuss some more examples of percentage where we are comparing two groups comparison is done with the help of percentage let's discuss textbook examples last year giri premi group planted 75 trees of these 48 trees flourished the karmavir group planted 50 trees of which 35 flourished which group was more successful in conserving the trees they had planted now here we have given two groups giri premi and karmavir the number of trees each group started with is different the tree planting is different in both the groups hence we have to compare the surviving trees in each group to the number of trees planted by them for this comparison it would be use, useful to find out for each group the percentage of dead trees that survived we will find the percentage now suppose the surviving trees of the giri premi group are a person and that of karmavi group are b person so our ratio of giri premi group is a upon 100 is equals to 48 trees survive out of 75 so we will find the answer here after finding the answer we will get 64 for the giri premi group and for the karmavi group the ratio is b upon 100 is equals to 35 trees flourished out of 50 So after solving, we will get the answer seventy. So here, Giri Premi sixty four percent and Karmavir seventy percent. So the Karmavir group was more successful in conserving the trees they had planted. Now here we have easily compared the tree plantation or conserving the trees by percentage. Now children, let's solve some examples. First. Of the sixty saplings that Vishwanath planted, forty flourished, and of the one fifty saplings that Raghunath planted, ninety flourished. Who was more successful in conserving the saplings they had planted? Now this sum is similar to the example we have seen. Now let's solve. Now we what we will be taking? Let surviving saplings by Vishwanath be a person, and let surviving saplings by Raghunath be B person, so ratio of surviving saplings to planted saplings is equals to of Vishwanath is A upon hundred is equals to forty upon sixty, because out of sixty forty flourish, so forty upon sixty. So after solving, we will get the answer as sixty six point sixty six. You are see forty multiplied by hundred upon sixty, we will divide by ten. Ten six is sixty, and ten ten is a hundred. So forty and ten remaining. Then we will divide by two. Two three is a six. Two twenty is a forty. So our answer is two hundred upon three. So after dividing, we will be getting the answer sixty six point sixty six percentage. Now for Agunath, the ratio is B upon hundred is equals to ninety out of one fifty trees or saplings flourish. So after solving, we will get the answer sixty. Sixty percent of saplings conserved by Raghunath and sixty-six point sixty-six saplings conserved by Vishwanath. So we can say, therefore, Vishwanath was more successful in conserving saplings. Now, next, a survey of buildings was conducted in the village A and the village B. It was found that. Seventy-five buildings out of two fifty buildings of the village A were in bad condition, and fifty buildings out of one fifty buildings of the village B were in bad condition. Out of the two villages, in which village were greater proportion of the buildings in bad condition? Now, here we have given village A and village B, so we will take let x percent of building were in bad condition in village A. And y percent of the building were in bad condition in village B. 
ratio of village A will be x upon 100 is equals to 75 upon 250. As out of 250, 75 buildings were in bad condition. 75 upon 250 is equals to x is equal to 75. This 100 will come here. 75 into 100 upon 250. Now after solving, we will get the answer 30%. Ratio of village B will be y upon 100 is equals to 50 upon 150. As out of 150 buildings, 50 were in bad condition. So y is equals to 50. This 100 will be coming here. 50 multiplied by 100 upon 150. That is 33.33 percentage. Now here village B has more percentage than village A. So we can say that here in village B greater proportion of the buildings were in bad condition. Now next in the elections 1080 of the 1200 women in Jambulga village cast their votes while 1360 of the 1700 in Vadgao cast theirs. In which village did a greater proportion of women cast their votes? Now here we are having the villages. Jambulga village and Vadgao. So we will be taking here let A person women cast their votes in Jambulga village. Let B person women cast their votes in Vadgao. Therefore first we will find ratio of Jambulga village. That is A upon 100 is equals to 1080 upon 1200. After solving, now we will solve here. 2020 cut. 12 1s are 12, 12 9s are 108, and, and 0. So here our answer is 90%. Now ratio of word count. B upon 100 is equals to 1360 upon 1700. Now we will solve. 2020 20 cut. 17 1s are 17. And 17, 8 is 136. And this 0. So here our answer is 80%. So here children, what we can say in Jambulgao village. In Jambulgao village, more women cast their votes. I hope children, you all have got it. Thank you and bye everyone.